I must have stepped on some toes yesterday with the video I put out. And um, I don't quite like doing that, despite what some people may think. But here's the thing. If Jesus, not the Spirit of Christ, if the man Jesus is the only way to Father, how did Enoch and Elijah make, made it back? Something happened to Enoch and Elijah that was quite outstanding. Even David had to physically die to be able to go back. But Enoch and Elijah, it is written they were taken. They, were, they didn't die. So with them living prior to Jesus... If Jesus is the way to Father, how did they get back? They didn't know Jesus. When the soul of Jesus was birthed into this world, it was a soul, right? And he had to grow up and he had some identity based on his earthly family and where he was growing up, and he was speaking Aramaic, and he got some education somewhere, and all that, right? He had a cultural um, belonging, he had education, he had some religious affiliation. So that's the man Jesus. He was born at a certain time. Elijah and Enoch couldn't have known him because they were born before him. How did they go to Father if the only way to Father is somehow through Jesus, through knowing of Jesus, through believing in Jesus? That does not make any sense. So did the people from Adam all the way until Jesus had no way of getting to Father because they were born too early? That doesn't make sense. What if the only way to Father is through Christ? That is not... The Spirit of Christ would not be something that's limited to the man Jesus, right? Because even we're supposed to have the Spirit of Christ. So is it possible that Enoch had the Spirit of Christ? That Elijah had the Spirit of Christ? That David maybe had the Spirit of Christ? That Moses had the Spirit of Christ? That is absolutely possible. So suddenly the man Jesus is not something needed for salvation, but the spirit that Jesus had and also gave to his disciples, it's in John twenty twenty two. You can go read it. So suddenly, not only Jesus had the spirit of Christ, now his disciples had the spirit of Christ. So suddenly the question isn't, do you have to believe in Jesus to get back to Father? Suddenly it is, well, how do you obtain the Spirit of Christ, right? And for some people, the word Jesus and Christ is the same thing. And I get it. But it's not the same thing, because one is the name of a person that had the Spirit of Christ, and the other one is a, 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 a phrase that we use to describe anointed spirit. Spirit of God. So. I don't like stepping on people's toes. But if. There's this group of people who keep saying. That you can only go to father through Jesus. And the correct way to say it is that the only way to father is through Christ and you take the man out of it, then I'm going to keep saying this message. I'm going to keep repeating it. 
because people are still stuck on the man instead of going deeper and looking at the spirit. If our father is unchanging, if he is the same yesterday, today and tomorrow, then also the way to him's got to be the same. And we have accounts of people who made it back to him before Jesus was born. So the way back to father is through our soul being changed by the spirit of Christ. Not by somehow retaining the knowledge and memory of Jesus's earthly journey. There's nothing blasphemous about what I'm saying. 